Hey, I'm Adam Jessica from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, we are going to talk about how long you should wait after you are denied for a credit card before you apply for another credit card or that same credit card again. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So if you have been denied for a credit card and you are wondering how long should I wait before I try again, either with that same company or for a different credit card, the answer, not surprisingly, is it depends. There are many different factors that can come into play. What is your credit score? How long is your credit history? How much debt do you have? How long has it uh, been since you tried for a card before the one you got denied for? How many other inquiries do you have on your credit report? A whole lot of stuff goes in there. Even one credit card company may have different standards for one card that they have versus another. So there are many reasons why you might get denied for a credit card. And so you kind of have to know why you got denied before you can think about how long it might be before you can apply again. Now, before I delve into all of those possible reasons why you might have been denied and then what the answer is on how long you might wait, I will give you a quick rule of thumb if you don't feel like watching any more of this video. And that is if you have been denied for a credit card, if you wait six months, no matter where you sort of are in terms of credit history, debt, all those other things, that is probably a good rule of thumb in terms of how long you should wait, especially if you are talking about going after the same credit card a second time. If you are denied for, you know, the Amex Gold card and you come back in six weeks and expect that they are going to approve you, that's probably not going to happen. You probably should be waiting six months before you go after that same card again, and hopefully, uh, you know, things on your credit report will improve over that time and they will want you, but regardless of anything, even if you're going for another credit card, you could use that six-month rule as sort of a safety, but if you don't want to use that rule and you're hoping to go a little quicker, let's talk about some of the other issues that are involved. Now, when you're rejected for a credit card, you're going to get something in the mail or you might see something online as well that is going to tell you why you were rejected. It's not going to go into great detail, but it's going to give you some answers as to why. And the three main messages you are going to get in terms of why you were denied oftentimes are going to be that your credit history was too short or you have too much debt on your existing accounts or you have too many recent credit inquiries. So if you get a denial and you have two out of those three things, again, use that six month rule, pay down debt if you can, don't apply for anything else in those six months and just wait it out for six months and your credit history will be a little bit longer. So that will take care of some of those things. Doesn't guarantee that you are going to be approved next time around, but basically it means your credit score is too low. There are things in there that they don't like and you probably should wait it out six months and try to fix what you can in the meantime. Now I said if you had two or more of those three that you should probably just wait six months, that being too short of a credit history, too much debt, too many recent inquiries. Inquiries. However, if you only have one of those as a factor being given for your denial, well, it might be a different story. So let's drill down on each one. First off, if you are told that your credit history is too short, it may be that your credit history is too short for that particular issuer, but not necessarily for a different issuer. And maybe you could go right to a different issuer and be approved for one of their cards, even though you were just denied from somebody else. For example, Chase is probably going to be more likely to deny you for not having much credit history than Capital One is. Capital One is known to work more with people that don't have that much of a credit history, where Chase usually likes to see you have some history with somebody else. And so that is something you kind of have to get to know about the credit card companies. Who is more likely to deal with you without much of a credit history? Who is less likely to deal with you? Chase, American Express, probably less likely with little credit history. Capital One, Discover, more likely with uh, uh, not a lot of credit history and the other banks somewhere in between. All right, the second factor is having too much debt. If you get a denial letter and they say you have too much debt, but they don't say anything about your credit history being too short, they don't say anything about too many recent inquiries, then it obviously is the debt you are carrying that bugs them. You are carrying too much debt probably in relation to the credit lines that you currently have and they don't wanna give you another one. So the obvious solution there is to pay down the credit cards that you have, pay them off if you can, and the sooner that you can pay them down to a reasonable level, the 
sooner you could go and try to get another credit card. Now, you wouldn't want to go and try to get another credit card from that same company again. You're probably going to want to wait six months. If Chase said no, you're going to want to wait six months even if you pay off that debt. However, a different credit card company, if you get your utilization down to under 10%, well, then they may be willing to work with you. It's still going to take a month when you pay off your debt before that's showing up on your credit report so that they can see that you have actually paid it off. So you've got that sort of as a uh, time frame to think about. But really after that month, if you can pay it off, well then you could go after credit cards from different companies. Not everyone's gonna be able to just pay off their debts immediately if they are rejected for a credit card. But the sooner you can, the sooner you could potentially apply for a credit card from a different company. And then that third factor I mentioned, too many recent credit inquiries. If you get a denial, letter and it says too many recent inquiries, but it's not saying your credit history is too short. It's not saying you have too much debt, then obviously that is the piece that they are uncomfortable with. Now, how many is too many? It depends. It depends on what else is on your credit report and it depends on the particular issuer in terms of how sensitive they are to recent inquiries. So if you're someone who has a credit score under 700, say, and you've got three inquiries on your credit report in the last year or so, in particular if they are credit cards and you're going after a fourth credit card within that year, well then that's going to scare off a lot of credit card companies because that's going to feel like too much for someone with your credit score. However, if your credit score is, you know, 780, 800, and you have five or six inquiries on your credit report in the last year, that still might not scare them off because you have shown that you can handle credit. You probably have a longer credit history if you have a credit score that high. And so some issuers would still be fine with dealing with you. So if you are getting that message and your credit score is under 700, you might just want to wait until some of those inquiries drop off before you go after more credit cards. Again, you wait that six months, you're probably going to lose some of those inquiries. But if some of them are about to drop off and you, you know, get to a place where you only have one inquiry in the last year, well, then maybe you're in good shape again. So you want to think about when those are going to drop off, how many you have recently. If your credit score is higher, it might mean that you just got dinged by one particular credit card company. I got dinged not long ago with a credit score of 820 something because of the fact that I had too many credit inquiries because that bank in particular did not like that aspect. Probably looked like I was going after too many credit cards for bonuses or rewards or whatever. So it can still happen, but it doesn't mean that another credit card company might not still say yes. All right, other things to consider if you are declined from an issuer that has previously given you a credit card in the recent past, you may simply be going after a card from that issuer too quickly. So if American Express gave you a credit card two months ago and you're trying to get another credit card from them, especially if you have a shorter credit history, they don't have any history with you in particular, they may want you to wait that six months that I've been talking about. At the same time, you maybe could go to Chase or Capital One or Discover or Bank of America or Citibank. And if you have a uh, good credit score and you have some credit history, they might be just fine with giving you a new credit card where American Express might have said no simply because of the fact that they gave you a card not long ago and they want to see more history with you with them before they would give you another. And then the final factor you might want to consider if you've been declined and you're thinking about how long you need to wait is did you go after a credit card that was maybe a little beyond what your credit history and or income suggests that you would qualify for but that issuer has other cards that have a different lower lending standard and maybe you could be approved for those. An easy example is Chase. Chase has the Chase Sapphire Reserve card that has a minimum credit line of $10,000 so you would have to qualify for at least $10,000 for them to consider giving you a card. However, if you were rejected for that card, it doesn't necessarily mean that Chase would have said no to you if you had applied for the Chase Freedom Flex card, which has starting credit lines of only $500. So it is possible that you could either go back to Chase sooner, even if you've been rejected for that card that had the higher standard, or you could potentially even contact them while your application for the one card was fresh and see if you could potentially be approved for one of their other 
other cards using the same information on your application without them pulling your credit again. Now, that doesn't always happen, depends on the credit card company, but that is also something to consider. Being declined for one card from a credit card issuer does not necessarily mean you would be declined for all of their other cards if those other cards have a lower lending standard. So as you can see, there are many factors to come into play. If you have a shorter credit history, especially if you have some debt, you have some recent credit inquiries and the credit card issuers are feeling a little squeamish about you, well then wait that six months. Let your credit age a little bit, pay down that debt if you can before you're back out there trying to get another card. But if your situation is different, potentially you could wait a shorter period of time. You could wait no time at all if it is that just one particular issuer has a problem with you, but the other issuers would be more than happy to have you. So you have to sort of read the tea leaves, I guess you could say, in terms of figuring out why you were declined and then going from there in terms of figuring out how long before you could go after another credit card. So that's it for this video. You got any questions, comments, stick them in that comments section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.